Today is September 3rd, 2024. <sighs> um, during the case in 18, where my ex-husband David, he looked at me and we went, went in for a walk in the woods. He looked at me and said, see that tree? And I'm like, yeah, see that tree? Yeah. He said, I picked out a tree because I'm going to have a bunch of men come up here and hang you. He said, and when they drop your body and it snaps, I don't want the tree to break from your body weight. And then just looked at me like Satan himself. Okay. They talked about hanging me in 18 and 19 about getting a group of men together to hang me. The police recorded them. Okay. By June to July of 19, I'm working at Pizza Hut in Canal Fulton. A guy's in there. He said, I heard a group of them talking. He said, uh, they're trying to get a group of people to take her out to a field and beat her to death. I tried to tell somebody who wouldn't listen. He said, it's another murder plot. And he's talking about it. See, that's what this is. Charles Manson did murder by proxy. Had his little M squad and do it. Years ago, on 2020, a missionary was in South America, a lady missionary. This lady in the town didn't like her. Okay. She said that missionary took her kid. The missionary had nothing to do with it. The town surrounded the missionary's home. She took a video of them beating on the doors in the walls until they kicked it in and that's when it ends when they kill her the kid showed up right after that it was playing at its friends she probably sent it over to its friend's house and told her not to come home till later the missionary had nothing to do with that woman's life that just got that missionary killed that's what these people are doing oh trust me strange knew about that It was on 20 or 20 and he preached about it. How evil they were to do that to that lady. It was down there to help them. And that lady didn't want him in her, her town. So she lied to all the town people. And that's when, like, 20 or 20 showed him said so that kid was just playing at a friend's house. That lady lied and had all those people kill her. That's what these people are doing. You know, yesterday I was in Bob Evans. Two guys said, we thought it was the police doing all that stuff to her before. They didn't have a coroner, so nobody would say anything. Okay, I want you to think about that. Any police going out, breaking people's constitutional rights, right to privacy without a protective custody case with statements and a court order, they go to jail. Rights to privacy. You have a right to remain quiet, right to an attorney. They take your constitutional rights out. They go to jail. A long time. Even the FBI would go to jail. Even the police said, even the FBI would go to jail being in your home outside a protective life case with statements. Nobody drugs anybody but the drug cartel. It's illegal to drug somebody. It's kidnapping, drug charges, attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon. Huh? Drugging people up, being so gay to say you had sodium pentothal reports. You need to research it. It had it been outlawed for years. Where would you get it? Like the police said it wasn't even funny. They said they had that. Can't even get it. You lie under it. Side effect, you'll say yes to anything. Date rape, amnesia, drugs that you're sleepwalking. Yeah. Prescription drugs that cause the side effect of that? Yeah. 
And then they had LSD in the 1960s. That hippies walk around hallucinating. No memory. Now they got all kinds of drugs that cause that. Okay. And the photoshopping of showering and washing. You know, in 19, by January 19, they said they photoshopped a feminine wifey above the toilet to make me look weird. Laughed in my face in front of the cops and the feds. They erased some guy named Chris out of the room. They photoshopped all their lies and were laughing at my face in Walmart 62 and other places in front of the cops and the feds. It's documented as framed by the drug cartel. It's drug cartel. The people in the store of Ravenna, where Dave hit me in the board in the face, took off. I guess he showed up at a store in Ravenna, screamed out, I don't want my wife anymore. Will you all help me get rid of her? And instead of calling 911 and telling the police that this idiot, crazy idiot is trying to get rid of his wife and kill her and looking for people to harm her, they agreed to help. Psychos agreed to help. The neighbor told on them. People have been talking where they found the tape of the neighbor telling them. It should be like January to March of 22 in the morning at McDonald's on Whipple and was at Hills and Dales or Fort Worth. Hmm? Corner of it. You know, you have neighbors, but you talk to them, but you don't, or you don't talk to them, but you know they're your neighbors. You drive by and you see them in the, going in and out of their houses. About four or five houses down from our house on John Thomas Road in Ravenna. There was a older white guy with white hair, a silver car. I see him going to his house all the time when I drive by. He pulled in next to me. And I thought, I'm not afraid of you. And I think, I am a little, but I'm not going to show fear. What's he going to do? Say something mean. I'm going in. And instead, I'm tired of this. To a bunch of men. Her ex-husband showed up in the store in Ravenna, screamed out he didn't want his wife anymore, asked all those people to help get rid of her, and they were all willing to help. And it's been the people in the store of Ravenna that did it to her before. Okay? Where Dave said he hired Pete on his own. Pete was a local fentanyl dealer, for we all work for the King from Texas. We are his men. Dave hired us. Dave hired Pete. So who is Pete? Exactly. Amnesia drugs. He, that guy said uh, a lot of those people that offered to help work or, or help hurt her um, were willing to harm her because they hadn't worked in a while. They needed the money. And they were willing to hurt her. And he was even saying something more sinister that um, those undercover police lied to Will. So those people in that store get away with this. I can't believe it. And he's mad. Okay. Well, the drug and gang unit up there sort of got disbanded in 22. That one lady agent said she was going to take care of him. Yeah. I heard her mumbling. Now, I want you to think. Everything's digital. You can put your head on somebody else's body, change your hair color, hairstyle, eye color, put glasses on you, make you look totally different. On a simple app. They have apps where you can even alter videos. You can put somebody out in space showering. You can put a space suit on them. So it looks like they're doing a funky dance in the space suit. They could put you in the... That's where I talked to my friend from the Star County Prosecutor's Office. Everything's digital. They probably did Photoshop that shower scene. They're all laughing about you. March 1st to 3rd of 21. And they said they put two clips together, put her in a porn, it's not her, it's not. Then later on, what you're describing is showering? Ha ha ha. She figured out what they did. May 12, 22 at noon, they found a tape of them emitting a shower scene in the other room. 
May 26, 22 at noon. The shower scene was done on purpose to make you look weird. Told Ed at the Oakland apartment, December 9, 21, 4 p.m. The guy at the Hunger Task Force on 9th Street, white man ball with dark eyes distributing food. There's only four or five volunteers. Uh-huh. To uh, the one place I was working at in a bar, the next door neighbor, White House, that Pete ordered everything to be drugged, photoshopped, and made up on me. Mm -hmm. And that they always knew the tapes were for were them and not me. They always knew that shower scene was uh, photoshopped. There was a shower scene to make me look weird. And they knew they had drugged me and told me to say it. Like some guy said, it's not even funny. You tell she was drugged. I kept going to the doctor. I don't know what's wrong with me. I got all these bruises on me. My muscles are killing me too. Oh, no. My head's killing me. I'm throwing up. Almost passed out in front of the neighbor. We'll get you some for headaches and my, uh, migraines and... Uh, uh, throwing up and we'll get you some iron pills and muscle relaxers. The well water is really dirty. I'm showering it. it my personal air is so infected I can't hardly pee. I'm getting pills and creams. Here I'm being drug being raped. And for some reason this idiot society I live in they think it's funny. You know what? Last year I was in Alliance in the fall. They said, where they said they were passing out money and giving people gifts for helping out. Everybody got to talking. Nobody actually got anything. They lied to everybody and tricked everyone into helping out. But then you got to think, you're willing to harm somebody for a shirt for 25 bucks. You're that pathetic. You're willing to be an accessory to human trafficking, rape, attempt to murder? For what, an ice cream cone? Or the thought someone will buy you one? Hmm? I want you to think about what you guys have been doing. It's murder by proxy. They're trying to get society to do their dirty deed. See, they told me in 19 for when they find you alone that's when they'll take care of you they told me they have a field picked out south of Ravenna to cut up my face stab me to death rape me and that's where I'll die they already have it picked out okay they also said that they would make sure that Dave wasn't connected and for when they find you alone that's when they'll take care of you murder plots. They lay them out in front of people. They have already confessed so many times in front of the cops and the FBI that they framed me. They drugged me and told me to say it before. They photoshopped all their lives, photoshopped shower scenes to make me look weird in the other room, feminine wipes, all their lies. By 18, they were laughing that they photoshopped all their lies in front of people. And that's where, you know, I work home health care. In front of my clients, they were making fun of me that they had raped me. That it's funny they raped her. It's funny they drugged her and told her to say it before. Hmm? And this one client went, Karen, this is crazy. People in stores admitting to raping you and drugging you and telling you to say it before. It's like I only had bruises and I was sick and I never talked to anyone. Stay out of it. I didn't even see anybody before the FBI. You talk about scary movie shit of predators preying on you in your home. And then you think about that FBI agent going up and telling that church that I called, told all the churches, met it on a recorded line that he met with all the church people and the baggage and acted like a crazy occult person. That he was going along with Strange's lie. When it was a medication error, medical malpractice almost killed me after a bunch of surgeries and my muscles locked up. And it's documented fraud, documented medical malpractice, documented medication errors. Almost killed me. And it took me nine months to get well. Okay? Where Strange said, oh, you're faking through the last four or five years. Bullshit. It takes a moron to believe that. 
and act like he's going along with Strange's lie like a crazy occult person, he tells him for calling the FBI hotline before he talks to me. Admitted on a recorded line he met with everyone several times, acts like a crazy occult person, makes me beg for my life, laughs at me for the rapist Pete, how he's running a scam up instead of arresting him for harming me. Andrew Derbeck up there had seven victims, was getting naked pictures of people and trying to extort money. Yeah, 12 to 15 years of federal prison. These people are actually human trafficking people out of their home. They're drugging them up, telling them to say something stupid, photoshopping shower scenes and stocking tapes by a drug dealer and local riffraff that's trying to extort money out of people. And that agent didn't arrest them. I found out they sold kitty porn and my grandkids go on the body. They sold me and my family on porn sites using the bathroom and maybe showering. Tried to extort money by photoshopping showering. Drug confessions. Never had them in my home. How would you like to find out predators were preying on you and causing all that? I thought I had cancer from the dirty wall water. I never seen or talked to anybody before the FBI. And then these people laughing at me that they were causing all of it. It's like, is it a cry for help that you want to tell me you were hurting me? Do you want me to tell a nice Star County Sheriff and they'll arrest you? You're admitting you're dangerous? It's like, don't threaten me with your crimes. Racketeering is drugs, rape, threats, and attempted extortion. It's 20 years. Cyber stalking is 20 years with a bank camera. Selling kitty porn is 20. You can get 20 for it. You guys got so many life sentences, it's not funny. Then human trafficking, attempt to murder, attempt of extortion. You can never get a dime out of that. And that agent going up there and telling on me, admitting he told on on a recorded line seen by the police telling on me and then may and laughing at me for some guy named Pete and it's a local drug dealer running a scam on me how I didn't know and that uh, they had some guy impersonate a doctor HIPAA violations no doctor can talk to him without uh, my signed consent it's one to five years and a quarter million dollar fine the whole scenario what they did is like every law that can't be broke and that agent laughing at me for that rapist, how I didn't know, I didn't even know who he was. He knew everything. He had the case solved for it started, that it was them. And they confessed to him. The morons confessed and he didn't bitch slap him and arrest him. And you can't feel sorry for the Vegas. I mean, dear God, 2003. You know, I told you I'd went through those six to 10 surgeries. My muscles locked up from all the trauma, okay? What I needed was pain medicine, muscle relaxers, long physical therapy to restretch, stretch out those muscles and then re-strengthen them. That's what healed it when I, after I went through a bunch of shit. Went to the wrong doctors, falsely diagnosed me made my legs swell till my knees were popping out of place, documented by an MRI, enlarged my heart valves, causing many heart attacks, documented my heart valves are still enlarged. My heart will start fluttering. I, ha I had to be on heart medicine. They made my brain swell, caused seizures. Do you know seizure medicine, if they give it to you and you don't need it, causes brain swell? Might I had level two brain tumors, wanted to remove my pituitary gland. Shut down my thyroid, adrenal gland, gained over 150 pounds. I'm dying. And I go to my regular doctor, ask her about that brain surgery, about them removing it. What does she think? Whoa. Those doctors are known for lying, falsely diagnosing people, ripping them off, making them sick, sharing them with their associates and friends that were known for doing that. It's medicine making you sick. You need to get an attorney to them, turn them over to the state, so they pull their license. And um, you're not the first one, and you're not the only one they've done this to. Do you know what it's like when you're dying, and you've almost died, to find out somebody's causing it? If the stranger wouldn't have pushed Danny to suicide, I would have sued him. Okay? And it's documented in Star County in November, December of 2003. Strange pushed Danny to suicide. Okay?
I start on fentanyl. Dr. Eli agrees that it's medical malpractice. Okay. And fraud. Medication errors. Gets me on fentanyl patches, muscle relaxers. First month, I lost 30 pounds. Second month, I'm out pulling myself around the stores and malls. End up in the hospital in so much pain. By the end of the second month, beginning of the third month, the brain swelling's gone. I could drive a car. Took my canes and braces. Pulled myself up and down streets, malls, stores. And over nine months, learned to walk again. Because the only thing was wrong with me was my muscles fucked up. They lied about everything else. And they caused everything else. I remember in 2000 when all those doctors created the opioid addiction, got people hooked on drugs, had to come back, falsely diagnosed people, did unnecessary procedures. People died. Doctors went to jail. Some doctor went to jail for the same shit this year for 50 years. In the middle of me getting well, started in November of 2002, almost well in April. May 3rd, 2003, church baseball game, kept, kept my kids home. We were all working on the house. Brian shows up, Brian Laney, tells us that uh, everybody was running late for the church baseball game. Phil was uh, one of the lead cars, blew through a stop sign into a semi. He was going so fast when he hit him that Tyler got ejected. And Phil uh, wasn't showable. Phil was speeding, okay? In July, I finished getting well. Come November, my sister Linda's married to strangest kid, Tim. She was out one day, found him with Katie. Started following him. She got caught one day in November of 2003. Came up to me at church. I was following him again. I got caught. I think they thought it was you. And then strange did that stunt on the four days later on Sunday. Got rid of me real quick. Thought I caught his kid with Katie. He just needed to get rid of me. Now, did I have anything to do with... What happened to Vegas? No. I mean, time you take the six to ten surgeries over two and a half years, a year and a half to two years of medical malpractice, and then nine months to get well. We're talking four to five years. Now, them wanting attention out of this? Like, some guy that I met, his son died when he was small. He said, I find these people disgusting using their family's tragedy to harm people. We can't even feel sorry for them. They're not even connected. Even people in the mall, why would that family say a word? It's not even connected. Exactly. And then them wait 15 years to hunt me down. And I don't even go to their church to help further their cult killing people. Talk about a Jim Jones cult. You can't even feel sorry for those people. Making up excuses to kill people. Like they said, they made up an excuse to kill her. Now I'm going to go ahead and upload this.